What's up, gents? So today we're going to cover the best lavender scents, aka barbershop feel scents. You guys voted. This was a top voted note, and I'm going to continue the series of best notes and fragrances for you guys. So without any further ado, let's hit the best shaving scents. So when it comes to shaving scents or lavender based scents, it's usually associated with two notes, sandalwood and oak moss. Now you think about shaving scents, you think about lavender, creamy, sandalwood, a little bit of an herbal green undertone and perhaps some mint to, to give it a fresh and even more soothing element to it. First off, before I get into my top 10 best lavender slash shaving scents or barbershop feel scents of all time, I want to talk to you guys about aftershave. I normally wear aftershave and I, I don't know if you guys do, but you know, aftershave usually reminds me my dad, you know, the cologne genre. I'm going to give you five mentions, honorable mentions, whatever you want to call it, that I like to wear as an aftershave. So whether it be for the fall, the winter, or the spring or summer, these are my top five favorite aftershaves. And that's Pinaud Club Man. This is a great take on the aftershave. My father used to wear this. I wear this. I love it. it reminds me of my childhood. It's definitely one that you should check out if you like a beautiful aftershave that has lavender as the most prominent note. Another one from the house of Pinaud is this one here, which is a Virgin Island uh, Bay Rum, which will give you more of a spicy cinnamon. It's going to give you more of an oriental spicy kind of feel on the lavender take which will add rum that gives us a nice booziness and lots of cinnamon. So if you like cinnamon and rum, give this one a shot. Another great spicy cinnamon kind of, uh, you know, oriental take on the aftershave will be Old Spice. The name says it all. Old Spice is a great spicy cinnamon kind of an aftershave. I don't currently own a bottle, but I am in search of getting more of that. I currently ran out. I need to get more of that. It's something I really love for the fall and the winter. Another one, that's a great honorable mention for the hotter days of the year that I wear as an aftershave or something that I like to blend with or you guys, you guys know I love to blend. This one here is definitely one that's a little bit faint, but if you blend with other things, it's just beautiful and it's a great aftershave. This 4711 Cologne, you guys know how much I love this. That's why I got the big bottle and I do have some backups. Now here's another one that if you know me, if you know the channel, you know I love. This is my perfect aftershave. This is the one that I wear the most throughout the year. This is Brut. Uh, this is a 25.6 ounce bottle. I absolutely love this scent. You know, when it comes to aftershave, it's definitely my best aftershave barbershop feel aftershave of all time. All right, so enough of honorable mentions. Let's get into the top 10 heavy hitters, best barbershop scents of all time. First off, of course, the one that looks like a barbershop pole, Reef Gosh from Yves Saint Laurent. This was released in 2003, and I think it's a masterpiece on its own. Uh, currently, this version here is discontinued, but you can still find the smaller um, version that they have, the reformulation of this, which really didn't suffer much changes. Uh, what I love about this one here is it adds a beautiful note of cloves in here, which I do love, which gives the composition a rich, uh, spicy kind of an undertone. I love cloves in my fragrances. This one here, that, that's why it's one of my first mentions. Now, these barbershop feels are in no particular order. These are just the 10 that I reach out for the most and the ones that I really appreciate that has that barbershop feel. When I have a hankering for a barbershop feel scent, these are the ones that I mostly think of when I want to wear that kind of genre. So Reef Gosh is my first mention, one that you definitely should check out. You can still find these bottles, they're, they're still around, not as easy to find as the current formulation, but if you hunt well, you'll find yourself one. Now this next one is a beautiful barbershop scent that was put together by one of my favorite perfumers of all time, Breton du Chafour. Now this particular fragrance here is a barbershop meets a tailor shop. And this is a sartorial, a great barbershop feel. When I smell this fragrance, I literally am transported to a barbershop uh, location where after, you know, they shave your neck, they put in that, that lotion that smells exactly a little bit powdery with the lavender, all the spices. It's just an amazing scent. And like I said, it'll bring you to a tailor shop slash barbershop. This is actually an older toilet, but it lasts for a long time. So it's a great composition. Uh, love the bottle, love the little bow tie adds a little classy uh, element to the uh, to the scent. Definitely try this, you'll not disappoint. Now this next one is from a house that I've been talking an awful lot and I think that you definitely should check out. All the fragrances from this house actually smell great and perform amazingly. They take you to the place that they're trying to evoke. And this one here is no different. This is At The Barber from Mason Martin Margiela. A great scent. They take the lavender barbershop feel and they add uh, notes of black pepper and leather which makes this uh, a, like a modern take on the barbershop feel, a little bit spicy, definitely a great, great scent. 
that will definitely transport you to a barbershop kind of an element. I love the scent, you know, it's um, very aromatic, not, not so much citrus, mostly, the most you're gonna get here is a little bit of citrus will qu quickly dissipate, you're gonna get a little bit of creamy barbershop leathery peppery kind of feel. A great one to try if you haven't checked this house, it's definitely one that you should be checking out. One of the best houses of the last few years um, that just now are getting some recognition in the frag comp. This next one is a masterpiece. It's like two beautiful fragrances fused together to bring the scent. This here is from House of Flores, which is a house that we don't hear much about. This one's called Elite. And what this is, oh my god, it's a combination of two amazing scents. Take Bois de Portugal from Creed and mash it with Polo Green from Ralph Lauren. What you get with this fragrance, look at the color of the, the juice, it's like green. Also, you're gonna have the lavender, sandalwood, creamy components in here. It starts off almost tobacco-y, Polo Green, and it quickly, after the first hour and a half, two hours, becomes this Bois de Portugal, creamy, lavender, spicy, sandalwood kind of combo. Definitely classic, uh, manly, elegant, gentleman kind of feel. If you haven't tried this one, I suggest I not urge you to try it because you'll absolutely love this fragrance if you have a taste like mine and you appreciate this genre. So check out Elite, Elite from Flores, you're not going to regret. Now, if you like the barbershop feel uh, genre, but you want something a little more, uh, perhaps, quote unquote, easy to wear, sweeter, uh, almost, you know, dabbing into gourmand territory, I would suggest you go with the 1986 release of Devadoff Zeno. Now, this is an older toilet concentration. I think it's been reformulated only once, and it's still a great scent that's gonna last hours on out. Um, and again, it's gonna give you a great cinnamon, like a creamy vanilla cinnamon dry down with the lavender up top, you know, barbershop feel. I love this scent in the fall and winter. Great for any time, any occasion. Uh, you could dress this up or dress down. You're gonna smell very elegant and very classy. A hidden gem, uh, not hard to find yet. This is like bargain price, probably the cheapest one on this list. But I have to tell you, if this becomes hard to find or discontinued, it'll fetch a pretty penny. So get it while you can. Now here's another one from the 80s. This one here is not really an 80s powerhouse, but it's also a beautiful lavender shop scent that has a citrus, more citrus amped component to it. This is Eau Pour Own from the House of Armani, perhaps my best and favorite Armani release of all time. Uh, it takes the 4711 cologne genre and adds that lavender barbershop feel to the scent. It's gonna be a blast of citrus melange up top that will dry down to this creamy, almost um, ambery kind of dry down uh, of a lavender, of a lavender. <laughs> Almost creamy dry down of a lavender shop feel scent. Armani Oprah Ohm has been reformulated. You can't, it's really hard to find the black uh, on black now. It's pretty much, I think, clear now. Not as long lasting or heavy as this one was. But if you can find this formulation, I think up until the early 2000s, you're okay and they're out there. Uh, you know, that's how I got mine. It smells fantastic. If you want like a more citrus, a little bit easier to wear barbershop feel, definitely try Armani Eau Pour Homme. You're gonna love it. Speaking of classy scents, here is one that is as classy as they get from the house of Chanel. They do classy like no one. Pour Monsieur. This one here is a 1989 release. This is the Eau de Toilette Concentré. They had uh, the regular Eau de Toilette, which is a different kind of bottle. And now they have the Eau de Parfum, which is supposed to be a more, um, longer lasting and enhanced uh, version of this one. I tell you right now, the Eau de Toilette Concentrate is my favorite of them. Um, this one here is an oriental take on the genre. You're gonna get Opoponax, vanilla, nutmeg, and cardamom. They embellish the lavender shop, barbershop feel with these oriental components, making this scent a fantastic gentleman-like scent. Uh, think of, you know, 1725 from Histoires de Parfum. You know, this is a perfect Casanova kind of scent. You wear this, you're gonna smell like a gentleman. Now, if you wanna talk about the ultimate oriental-like barbershop feel scent, you have to talk about Jean-Paul Gaultier's Le Mans. This one here, to me, is the masterpiece, the most prominent uh, fragrance that's associated with master perfumer Francis Kirchhen. Uh, what this is, is a oriental modern take on the on the lavender barbershop feel scent. It added the notes of mint, which gives this a really nice uh, fresh opening. Obviously, the creamy lavender and the vanilla dry down. I smell this fragrance, it brings me to amazing memories that I, that I you know, made with this fragrance over the past 20 plus years. This is another one that'll be my collection forever. It's a perfect modern take on the Lavender Barbershop feel. All right, the second to last mention here is one that was originally released in 1882. This was Fougere Royale from Ruby Gaunt. 
Now this is a modern take, a 2010 release from Rodrigo Flory wrote Heat Nail Descent. Given the herbal classic lavender feel, a modern twist with added tonka, floral notes, and amber, making the scent a little bit sweeter and easier to wear nowadays. Uh, you're gonna still get the character, the old school classic character, but it's not gonna be as pungent green or herbal or in your face. So very easy to wear. I urge you to try it if you can. This one's not as easy to find, but you can definitely track it down. It's not discontinued. It's, it's definitely available at you know most uh, prestigious you know general stores. And it's one that I love. This is, to me, one of the perfect barbershop feel scents. Fougere Royale, a timeless classic that I'm glad that they re-released in 2010, that we, can that we can still enjoy it today. Now, if you follow this channel, I have to talk about this fragrance. As you guys know, I love Dolce & Gabbana Pour Homme, and this is one that usually is, people associate me with. I love this scent to death. This, when I smell this, it immediately takes me back to my elementary school years, you know, eight, nine years old, when I started to wear fragrances and I started noticing girls. And this was my father's signature scent. And of course, I'm talking about a Zauro Pour Homme. This is a 1978 composition. This particular one's from the 80s. This is a, the epitome of a perfect lavender barbershop feel scent. Of course, the creamy lavender is prominent here, but you're gonna get some anise, which gave the scent some character, uh, caraway, it has a lot of spices, it has a slew of notes, but the most uh, prominent character in the scent is going to be the lavender, the anise, and the oak moss. It's green, it's herbal. Um, it's a little bit in your face. Um, this is a splash bottle. Put a little bit on myself here. It smells fantastic. I love this scent. I can't, can never get enough of this. But uh, yeah, this, this is a perfect barbershop feel scent. You know, if you love the genre, you have to try this. You have to have this in your collection. Um, this is one that broke the mold. It's a trendsetter. Many fragrances follow suit. And because this was released in 78, over 40 years, and it's still here today. Actually, 40, 40th year anniversary of this fragrance. So, Number one, the best lavender barbershop feel scent to me, one of my favorites of all time. So those are the top 10 best lavender barbershop feel scents that I think of when I wanna evoke that barbershop creamy soothing uh, lavender feel. Let me know in the comment section below, what are your top 10 or five favorite barbershop lavender fragrances in the comment section below? We can start a little conversation. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for a lot more videos like these. If you like the content, why not subscribe? It's free and I still see a lot of you guys that I'll tear over 60% of you watching these videos that are not subscribed to the channel. What's up with that? Come on, man. Give me some love. Also, don't forget to turn on your notifications so you'll always be notified when new fresh content comes out, which is quite often on this channel. And of course, don't forget, keep on spraying. <laughs>